Today we're gonna be making this gold rope chain. Yeah, trying to make sure that I get a meal. Yeah, yeah, the All right, so you need some 16 gauge gold wire found at Michael's. You need a quarter of an inch thick metal dowel found at Lowe's. You need you need wire cutters and you need the basic jewelry tools. You need a jeweler saw with a two aught saw blade size and you need two little plier things that you can use to bend the lines. Start by just unwrapping this, pulling up a decent amount of wire off. Cutting it. So then you want to take this little coil that you just cut and cut it. Depending on how, it doesn't really look, matter how long you make it, you want to make it long enough so that you can cut it into like about four or five pieces just to start. And then you do that after I explain everything else. You do it multiple times. So you just cut that. However long you want it, you just want it to be able to wrap around the dowel at least like six times. It. it doesn't matter if they're all the same size or not. And cut this little bent end off because it just gets in the way. Alright, so you want to take the metal dowel. Put it in the bench vise. This is my left hand, by the way. Your right hand. You want to just put the very end of it in between the dowel and the vise side. And then tighten as tight as possible because you don't want anything moving. And then you just start wrapping. You want to make it usually about as close as possible. If it's a little above, it's okay. But you don't want it like a spring. You don't want it to be that far away. Once you've got it as much of the wire bent as possible, or wrapped as possible, okay. then you take it out, and then it'll just slide right off. There you go, you got your little coil. Do that for the rest of the little wire strips that you cut. So now that you have all your coils, you want to cut these little tabs off. Oh, you want to cut these little tabs off. So, just like that, right where they start to reconnect. And you want to do that for all of them. Alright, so now you're going to start cutting these little coils up into these little rings. So, right in the center of that, you want to cut. And best to start with a new saw blade. Like I said, use the two aught size because this is a little bit bigger. It gets caught easy, which is why I have a few extra cuts. So there, once you get that one ring, just put it off to the side and keep going. Now we're gonna start the chain. So you take your first jump ring, you open it, and you put a lobster clasp there, just like that. You put another one on. There we go, put that, and then you put another one there, there you go, both of those, and then close it, just like that, so, here we go, got the start of like a little two by two. And this is where things can get a little bit complicated. But trust me, once you learn it, you will, it, it'll be hard to forget. So you take them like this, and you twist them in that little hole you make. You're going to put the next jump ring through all four of those rings. Start with like a two by two, a lobster clasp. And they're open one, and you take these two, and you twist them. 
There we go. You see that little hole there? You want to put, so here, here's an easier way. So you do this, put it there. You take these other two, you try to put it through all four, just like that. Yeah. Put it through all four. So, again, I'm going to put another one through those, and then the other two, just like that, and then close it. This is where things can get a little tricky, because the rings will slide around a lot. So, then you take another one, through those next two, the next four, I mean, put a jump ring through, and then another one through there, same ones, and once again, through these next four. Did I do that right? Yep, I did. There you go. Like I said before, this can get really complicated even for me. And I've done this a couple times before. Right there. And you want to continue this pattern with the jump rings until you reach the length the chain desired, whether it's a bracelet or necklace. If you do it right, it will end up looking like a rope chain. Like this. There you go. I hope that was helpful. You can make your first rope chain. See ya.